Chairman, thank you. Well, joining me live in studio today is the Shaman County Treasurer, uh, Caitlin Colombani Ruiz. Uh, you are newly sworn in, so I just want to say yeah. congratulations thank on the position. Much. I'm sure there's a lot on the agenda for this year Absol alone. Absolutely. Uh, but to start us off, I did. There's been conversations about the Shimon County foreclosure issue, and now this has all stemmed from a case that happened in Minnesota that was brought over to the Supreme Court. This woman had a condo; she wasn't able to pay her taxes, so she was given a foreclosure notice. The county then was able to sell her condo for forty thousand dollars, got twenty-five thousand dollars back in revenue, and essentially left her with nothing. Could you? briefly explain the ruling on the case and how that's trickling around the states and affecting New York State. Absolutely. So the ruling is Tyler versus Hennepin out of Minnesota. That ruling essentially tells New York counties or every state that um, keeps proceeds from auctions or through other means that they are no longer allowed to retain those excess proceeds. Right. Now, so with that, Currently, Shimon County, we um, practice Article 9 and Article 11 prescribed by New York State. And what Article 9 is, is um, where we're issuing tax bills to all owners throughout the county. And when they don't pay those tax bills, what happens is those bills then become delinquent. When they become delinquent, Article 11 then is prescribed and we have to follow a foreclosure mechanism. Right. Now, I know if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, the last auction on foreclosure homes happened in November of last year. Correct. I'm curious to know, where did that surplus money from the last auction yep. go? Where is that being held? So, like every auction, each individual property has either gains or losses based mm -hmm. on the amount of taxes and other um, expenses that may have gone along with that property while the county holds that property. And so currently we are keeping those um, funds in a trust waiting on further decisions from New York State. Right. Now, I know there's l lawyers out there that are trying to help clients sort of get that money back that they lost from the revenue that was left. Um, right. So essentially, this ruling, a good news for homeowners, but for the local counties, not so much. Uh, what's the, the, the issue mainly for the county? So as the treasurer's office, I do not have the authority mm -hmm. to just hand back money to homeowners. Right. Um, there has to be a legal um, process involved for a treasurer, for any entity, to give back proceeds, if you will. Um, the issue right now is that we don't have either um, the state telling us you can, you are supposed to distribute those proceeds to either homeowner, mortgage holders, uh, or any lien holders, um, or we don't have any legal precedence that has been set mm. to allow us to, um, or guide us <laughs> to distribute any excess. Right. So this is pretty much all up in the air, how the state is going to handle it kind of thing. What do you suggest for homeowners that are looking to go further on about this issue? Unfortunately, I, unfortunately again, we're still waiting on the state. Mm -hmm. There will be something soon, hopefully, that is um, said related to how homeowners or anyone that this may have impacted um, can you know, present themselves and collect. However, right now, until, again, New York State gives us guidance, we are required to fo follow Article 11. Mm -hmm. And again, Article 11 tells us that we have to go through the foreclosure process and then sell those properties. The bottom line, we make all entities, towns, villages, school districts whole. Mm -hmm. So when those delinquent taxes get turned over to us, the county, we have to then pay each town, village, school district those the amount of those delinquencies. Mm -hmm. So that's a whole nother right. issue. It, it, it seems like it, it's a, an issue that is gonna continue it's unraveling. It's going to be a while, a while until right. Something it's not something out. that'll get figured out overnight. However, once it does, we'll obviously let the public know. 
Um, currently, like I said, anybody that um, whose property through the last auction and or whatever the time frame um, that New York State tells us yeah. um, as far as a look back period prescribes at this time anyone that that may pertain to those funds are being kept in a court and trust so we normally would take that excess and realize the gain mm. um, but we're not doing that any longer um, therefore we have to realize the loss for any property that may have had a loss versus a gain. Right. Well, really interesting uh, issue going on. We'll definitely have more continuing updates Absolutely. and hopefully get more updates from the county. We'll have all that information linked for you guys up on our website at WNY.com. But for now, I'll send it right back over to you, Kurt.